Hello everyone, if you're an educator, teacher, college professor, or thinking of creating your own lesson online, then this is the video that is right for you. I'm Dr. Spronza and I've been an online teacher since 2013 and since then I've been creating my own math lectures and videos through the use of minimal technology, my computer, and the power of YouTube. In over six years of me creating my own content online, I was able to develop several methods on how to effectively use your technology in creating your content so that your students will be able to learn from you remotely. Some of you are still on the fence or a little bit camera shy when it comes to facing the camera or creating your own lesson. So in this particular video, I will be presenting to you several methods like methods with your face on it and content creation where it will not require you to show your face and just use your voiceover in creating your own lesson for your students online. So without further ado, let's start with method number one, the minimal tech method. And in this particular method, I'm just using my whiteboard, my marker, my camera computer and my handwriting and producing my own content. So with this method, you don't need a lot of technology. You don't even need to have a lot of editing skills to be able to produce your own lessons for your students to see. You just need to have your computer and your internet. And once you have recorded your video, you just have to upload it so that your students can view it right away. And this is the technique that I started with in 2013. So this is the quickest, the fastest way and the easiest way on how to uh, produce math lessons or biology lessons or history or English lessons for your students to consume. In this method, I'm just using my whiteboard and my colored markers and using my own handwriting. This is how I use my minimal technology so that I could produce most of my lessons and my lecture online really quick, really simple, and really fast. So the handwriting or the lecture is also going to serve as my script so that I don't forget what I'm supposed to be saying when I'm in front of the camera. And with the use of the available materials I have at home, I just need to use my computer camera, record it, and upload it off of YouTube. And I multiply. So if I have f of x g of x, and derivative now would be f of x times g of x, plus f prime of x times g of x. I'm not going to take all the credits on this particular method because I've learned or watched Dr. McCammon's video on his Fizz model or Fizz method. And this is basically my inspiration in creating my first video off of YouTube. The second method that I'm going to share with you is the full tech method where it requires two camera or dual camera system. And in this particular system, we're going to be using a document camera or your computer or your secondary camera. And of course, another set of camera that will record your face so that you can explain to your students how things are done or how lessons are being presented in your video lecture. This particular method is perfect for STEM teachers who are teaching mathematics, physics, chemistry, which requires a lot of modeling and step-by-step -step procedure and how to arrive or to get a simple answer or complex mathematical or physics or chemistry concept using your own handwriting. A document camera is extremely useful in creating content like how I use it in my math lesson. So I record it using my computer and the computer is capturing my document camera. Sometimes I use my iPhone to use as a secondary camera for my document camera method and then using QuickTime or ScreenFlow, I just edit it so that I'll be able to produce math videos similar to this one. With little technology and a little bit of skill, you'll be able to produce content similar to what I have in this video. And if you don't have a document camera, you can also use your existing Keynote application if you're a Mac user or a PowerPoint presentation if you're using PC as your computer. For Keynote and PowerPoint user, there is a special feature that you could use wherein you just have to record your presentation together with your voiceover, which will be captured using the microphone that is built into your computer. And I find it very useful for liberal arts and humanities teachers to use this particular method because there's a lot of text involved in working with this particular subject 
subjects or discipline and this would be a perfect platform for you to use if you want to create your own lesson in composition, in literature, in history, and subjects that would require a lot of reading, facts, and words. Your PowerPoint or your keynote presentation is a powerful tool in creating content online. With your presentation and your voiceover, you'll be able to record lessons similar to what I have in this particular video. And the third method that I'm going to share with you is the no face technology. So if you are camera shy or still a little bit apprehensive in being in front of the camera because believe me, I know how it feels like and how awkward it is to be talking to no one, especially with the stress of facing a camera. So if you don't want to deal with that, you can still try using technology and creating your own content by using your document camera and your PowerPoint or your Keynote application. Similar to method number two, but this time you may opt out to using the second camera and just use your document camera or your computer to produce your own content. So this positive and negative. So let's have more examples on how we use the number line when we add and subtract integers. Now some problems will be easy and some problems can be a little bit confusing and again the mastery. Okay. So this okay. one is probably really fast and easy to use if you are already working or using PowerPoint or keynote presentation in your lectures. All you have to do is just to use it and use your voiceover and pretend as if you're inside your classroom in delivering the lessons that is already made in your PowerPoint or your keynote presentation. So these are just some of the techniques that I want to share with you in the six years that I've been producing content online. I know that it's still easy to just find or look for videos that you could use so that your students will be able to learn or watch something off of YouTube. And I am just here sharing my skill and sharing my experiences so that you'd be able to find another alternative to be able to conduct a more effective lesson with the remote instruction model that we're going to be using in this COVID-19 crisis. Again, this is just my suggestion and if you uh, want to learn a skill or two, try out one of these methods that I presented and I'm looking forward to be seeing your own video. So if you have your video, just send me the link and I would be happy to see it and hopefully we'll be able to collaborate and help each other in helping our students achieve in this time of COVID-19. And again, this is Dr. Esperanza and thank you for watching my video. See you again next time. <laughs>